I wonder who else enjoyed watching people at Lansdowne answering, what are you hoping for this Christmas? Hopes range from an Apple Watch to peace in the world. Some days we can feel like we are so full of hope and others that we are empty. For one woman in the time of the judges, hope seemed to be all but gone. Famine led her to leave her homeland to go to Moab. She lost her husband, then her two sons. On all accounts, she had lost her hope for the future. And this was the story of Naomi at the beginning of the book of Ruth. She returns to her homeland, Bethlehem, feeling utterly hopeless. When greeted by name, she replies, No, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara, because the Lord Almighty has made my life very bitter. I went away full, but the Lord has brought me back empty. And yet, who was there right by her side as she entered Bethlehem? Ruth. See, God was still there. He still loved Naomi, and he chose to use Ruth to bless her and restore her hope in him. Very soon, Ruth meets a man of standing, Boaz. He shows generosity, kindness, and grace to her, and by extension, to Naomi. And he turns out to be their guardian redeemer. Gradually, we see Naomi being reminded of who the God is that she trusts in. We see God shower his grace on Ruth and Naomi. The tale ends in such hope. Boaz redeems the family line, he marries Ruth. She conceives and gives birth to a son, Obed, the grandfather of King David, in the family line of Jesus Christ. Jesus, our ultimate redeemer, born in Bethlehem, the one who takes our bitterness and shame and shows us abundant grace. This Christmas, let's remember Jesus. Let's find our hope in him our glorious Redeemer.